Assalamu alaikum friend this is Mohammed Dina and in this video I'm going to speak about integral equations by using Laplace transformation this is one of my favorite application of Laplace transformation so first see my whole video then if you like video then subscribe my channel Volterra integral equation and I'm going to solve this solve this one by using Laplace transformation so applying Laplace transformation Laplace of y of t equals to Laplace using linearity property I'm taking two outside e power minus t plus Laplace of 0 to t sine t minus tau y of tau d tau so using table or convolution theorem convolution theorem of Laplace transformation we will have result y bar of s equals to 2 over Laplace of e power minus t will be s plus 4 using table directly and the here convolution theorem statement says that Laplace of 0 to t g t minus tau f of tau d tau equals to f bar of s and g bar of s so if this is my g t g then the Laplace of g bar of s will be 1 over s square plus 1 and this is if uh, y of tau is f bar of s then the Laplace of y of tau will be y bar of s so I'm taking this term here y bar of s minus y bar of s over s square plus 1 equals 2 over s plus 1 I'm taking y bar of s here common and inside LCM s square plus 1 s square plus 1 minus 1 2 over s plus 1 plus 1 minus 1 will so simplifying this one y bar of s equals to 2 over s plus 1 and this will be here s square plus 1 and this s square is here so now applying Laplace inverse transformation Le on Laplace inverse transformation I have already one I have already published my one video so you have to see that one first so after taking the Laplace inverse we will have result y of t equals to 2t minus 2 plus 4 e power minus t this will be our required solution or desired solution of this Volterra integral equation I have one more example and I am going to show you so friends I am going to solve this one again by using Laplace transformation Laplace of y double prime plus Laplace of y equals to Laplace of 0 to t sine tau y t minus tau d tau so by using derivative property of Laplace we have s square y bar of s minus s y of 0 minus y prime of 0 plus Laplace of y is y bar of s again by convolution theorem this will be 
y bar of s divided by s square plus 1 so using the condition y of 0 equals to 1 then this will minus s and y prime of 0 equals to 0 minus 0 plus y bar of s and here will be s square y bar of s equals to equals to the same thing so i am collecting my y bar of s y bar of s here will be s square minus s plus 1 minus 1 over s square plus 1 so here taking LCM and then simplifying the result will be y bar of s s square plus 1 s square s square plus 1 plus s square plus 1 plus 1 equals to s then simplifying again y bar of s equals to s multiplied by s square plus 1 and this will be s square s square plus 1 plus s square plus 2 or applying Laplace inverse transformation so we have y of t equals to 1 upon 2 1 minus cos radical to t done for here I am uh, for Laplace inverse again see my the Laplace inverse video then this will be easy for you thank you so guys if you like the content so kindly support me and subscribe my channel